Here's what you'll need to make my pepper soup. Two or three carrots depending on the size, some tomatoes, an onion, as little or as much garlic as you'd like, vegetable stock cube, dash of tomato puree, three bell peppers, some black pepper, paprika and a dash of honey. First thing we're going to do is get the veg rinsed, chopped and prepared. When you chop your veg, it's time to go in with a bit of oil into your pan and then in with your peppers, onions and carrots. Don't worry how chunky your veg are because you're going to blend everything up later anyway. So in with those, give them a stir around so they all get cold, coated in the oil. And then on a gentle flame, we're going to put the lid on so they steam as well as fry for around 10 minutes until they've softened down. With your veg softened down, it's time to go in with your garlic. Then about a tablespoon of paprika, which is basically just dried peppers anyway. Your black pepper, plenty of that. Give them a stir around and give those a minute to allow the oils to re and flavours to release. Paprika, pepper and garlic's had a minute. It's time to go in with your tomatoes. I've removed the skins and most of the pips. But you don't have to bother because it's all going to be blended. Just so you don't digest tomato skins so I like to get rid of it. So give them a minute because cooked tomatoes have more nutrients in than raw tomatoes. Don't ask me why, they just do. When everything's had a minute or two, trying to get to know each other, time to go in with about a litre of your veg stock. Give that a stir around, get anything that's stuck to the bottom of the pan. Into that, you're going to go in with about a tablespoon and a half of tomato puree and about a tablespoon of your honey. Add some extra sweetness to your already sweet carrots and peppers. And then give that a stir around, replace the lid, set it on your lowest setting. And we're going to simmer that for at least 30 minutes till everything is thoroughly softened and cooked. The veg have simmered, they're all soft, and I've also took it off the heat and let it cool down because we're going to put it into a blender next. And you don't want boiling hot liquids in a blender. So we're going to get it in the blender and get it blended up. So it's blended resemble something like that depending what colour peppers you've used of course it could be bright green finish it off just add a bit of sea salt for seasoning because you've already got plenty of black pepper in there adjust it to your own taste and then serve it up an absolutely delicious bell pepper soup